Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be taking you through how to edit a fitness video in CapCut. So CapCut's a free video editing software and it works very well. I have it here on my Mac and I'm going to be taking you through how to edit a fitness video. I have a tutorial me going through how to do calf raises from a box. So one of the first things first we want to set up is our auto captions. So this, I guess, is dependent if you want to have these, but it's a very nice touch and makes your videos look very professional. So I typically include this on all my more effort, higher effort videos. So the auto caption is just going to take a transcript of what you're saying and apply it to the uh, system. So I want to change the colors. We have to move our slider to a spot. There we go. So I changed my font from just plain old white to yellow with a black outline. And I change my font. So you can choose all your options here. Also, you want to put it in a position that is out of the way. Some videos, it's nice to have it up top. I like just having it down the bottom around there. And then next, you can go into your effects if you wanted to change how the um, text looks. I like to add in a little bit of an animation just so that it looks cool as it's coming across the screen. But now I have a full transcript of what I'm saying. And it makes it easy for when you're trying to clip off the end of a video because you're able to just go whoop and remove it. Next thing I like to do when I'm editing a fitness video is whenever I have the text of me saying what I'm doing, I like to add in another layer of text to just kind of further drive that home. So box calf raise is the exercise. I want to change it to my font. And then I like to have this as something a little bit more fun. So something like that. And then I might make this a little bit bigger. You can also drag it on screen and adjust it how you see fit. I think that that's such, such a cool feature. Next, we're gonna go with our animation. So this is how you really make it look professional. I'm gonna use this, drag out the, the time a little bit just so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna set my out. So I typically go with like that explosion in your, <laughs> like right into your face. Um, I think it looks good for fitness. But again, you can use whatever types of ins and outs you want. There's tons of them in CapCut. So look through them, find which works best for your workflow or your tone of videos. But then you can kind of find how to fine tune it. I don't want to put the audio on, but I would. Yeah, there we go. No, nope. I'll put the audio on to adjust that accordingly. To I like to have it come in a little bit before. And then it's there whenever I say it. The box calf raise. So getting bigger Perfect. calves is so see how to do the box calf raise. So getting it's appeared whenever I said the word and then it zoomed in as I ended it. So now I got auto captions and I got my title of the video in my video. You can go through and with auto captions, if you have like let's say some filler words, you can go into the captions tab here. It's gonna have all your words. It can find or replace words if you want to remove certain things, or if you know that you say certain words like, um, you can go through and you can delete it. Now, I don't really say the words, um, or, uh, anymore. I got into a habit of not saying it, but this is a really nice feature because you can also delete the word completely out of your video and it'll make a little jump cut just to remove that word. So very cool. Um, you can apply some different features to this you can even have it the text tracking on things but i like to have that all set up and you can find those filler words you need to remove it'll automatically do the cuts for you but if you need to do cuts you can just press command command b to um cut the clip in half or you can use um you can press b and make the blade tool itself so see how my tool is now b for blade i can slice up the video how I see fit, if I wanted to make a jump cut that way, you can press A to bring back your normal cursor. But then with this, if you want to do any simple color grading, CapCut makes it easy. You can just go up to the, um, where is it here? There's, oh yeah, there's the enhancements here. So you can put on makeup, whatever you want to put on, auto change your face. Uh, there we go, adjustments. So you can add in your LUTs. You can adjust the temperature how you see fit. So if you want to make it warmer or colder, um, hue saturation. I don't like to play around with saturation or things too much, but like your contrast can add a bit of a nice tone to the video. You never want to increase or decrease these too much. Like there is a there's a fine line between editing a video and just butchering it. 
So, yeah, you want to find that. Depends on the video. I like to boost shadows usually and maybe drop down my highlights a bit. Again, depends on the video and the lighting. Illumination, too. Play around with all these, make it look nice. Sharpen. Sharpen can make it look a little bit too much. And vignette. But that is how you edit your videos. And um, yeah, that's how I do my fitness videos. I typically just cut off the end. I make them relatively quickly. If you have multiple clips, you can edit them how you see fit. But other than that, I sometimes add in a few keyframes. Like if I want to zoom in or zoom out on what I'm doing. So for certain parts, I might have it zoom in completely on my ankle. And um, I'll just give an example. You're going to click on to here. Oops. Go back to video. And basic. And then you're going to hit your position and size. So now I have a keyframe there. And I'm going to zoom it in. Set new keyframes. And pull it up there. So. It'll look like this. And then maybe zoom back out. What you can do too, if you want to have it stay in for a second, set another keyframe and then find your final frame. Go back to 100 and remove that. So there you go. And zoom in it out. Boom. And you got yourself a keyframe. So that is how I edit my fitness videos on CapCut. Hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments as well. I'm be more than happy to answer any of them. And yeah, that's how I do my videos. Thank you so much for watching.